Welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. As always, I'm Jordan, and today we're going to look at Old Forester Statesman. Uh, it is bottled at 95 proof, which is 47.5% ABV. Uh, I was able to pick this bottle up locally here in Wyoming for $57.99. Um, I've already reviewed the 1910, the 1920s, and now we're looking at the Statesman. I also have reviewed the 1897 bottled and bond one as well. Um, really, I'm a huge fan of the old Forrester lineup. They all feel like have a really nice, heavy, oily mouthfeel that kind of clings. It feels like a whiskey that has some heft to it, that it, it's, I don't know, manly or uh, is not out of place. Um, in a upper echelon kind of setting um it's just really good whiskey and not at an outrageous price um i haven't found one that i dislike they all seem to have various flavor profiles and notes which is really nice it's not just a repeat of the same notes uh from bottling to bottling so uh i really like that and so we'll get into the statesman here see what we get out of this bottle, um, seems kind of classy, doesn't it? Ooh, on the nose, you get a nice, heavy brown sugar. A little bit of oak in there. A very nice, like, salted caramel on the nose. So those sweet, savory notes, um, like the, the brown sugar and stuff, they're just really nice. Well-balanced nose. Now it's starting to move into this really nice light fruit. A light apple. Scratch that. It's not an apple. It's a light cherry. And I go back and forth on the cherry versus apple. If it's not like cherry cough syrup or um, fake fruit cherry, uh, like a really nice light uh, like Flathead Valley cherry um, or those orange marbled cherries i forget what kind they're called um those flavors tend to kind of balance on the edge of light fruits like apricots and um an apple for me uh so sometimes i hem and haw as to which direction i think it goes and like you really have to like just kind of smell it and immediately spit some out uh if you want to hit it because uh, the more i sit and think about it, the more it uh like my brain messes with the signal that I'm getting as to whether or not it does actually smell or taste like something. So I'm getting a lot of really sweet, nice notes out of this though. <clears throat> On the palate. A little watery thin up front. Moves into a nice sweet middle. And then the finish, as it unfolds, like right now it's still going, it gets creamier, richer, more caramel. Um, the ethanol kind of evaporates and dies away. Um, the beginning palette, and I almost have like, like salted caramel, like I almost feel like I could taste some salt in there. Um, the beginning really was watery, thin, not much there. A um, little bit of ethanol up front. And then that kind of gave way to that mid palate, which really opened up with some sweeter notes. So I'm going to guess on the second tasting here that those sweeter notes are going to get kicked up here a bit. They didn't. Exact same thing. Kind of a nothing burger up front. Just watery thin. Um... And in fact, the whole flavor profile really thinned out on that one. Um, get a little bit of graham cracker in there, uh, a little bit of like caramelized sugar. Um, there's a, a barrel tannin that kind of picks up early on in the mid. Uh, so you get this bitter that kind of picks up in the early mid, carries through. But then it pushes into a really nice graham cracker that kind of finishes with a nice sweet graham cracker finish with that barrel tannin bitterness kind of edging alongside of it. Um, really nice whiskey. Uh, it doesn't bring forward any of those um, sweet brown sugar notes or um, fruit notes that the other Old Foresters do. 
Um, definitely goes a different direction on the palette, but it is super nice. So I highly recommend you pick up a bottle of this if you're interested in those types of uh, flavors, especially that graham cracker. And the, um, the finish just keeps going and going. For a good 10 or 15 seconds, it kind of develops and opens up and keeps going. And that graham cracker just really comes through solidly. Uh, for $57.99, you can't go wrong with this bottle. I highly recommend it. Um, 99, or 99, 95 proof Old Forester Statesman. Just another good bourbon by uh, Old Forester. Uh, you really can't go wrong with any of them. Um, I think we'll jump into the rye next and... Uh, that one's actually pretty good. So stay tuned to the next video. Um, when that one comes up, it'll be the Old Forester Rye. I think you'll really appreciate that. Even if you're not a rye fan, if you're a bourbon fan, highly recommend you go pick that up. Uh, if you are enjoying this content, please like and subscribe. Maybe smash that like button on the video. Um, I'm looking forward to doing a couple of uh, different ideas instead of just whiskey reviews uh, in some of the videos coming up. Um, one of them that I'm kind of kicking around is the top, you know, you only need five whiskeys according to Reddit video. You've probably seen a handful of those earlier in 2021 or late 2020 by other whiskey review channels. I think I need to do my spin on that. Um, so stuff like that. So just some different review type videos will be coming up intermixed with the actual bottle reviews um but yeah again if you're getting stuff out of this please share this content with other people i'm not pushing it out on my own um social media stuff i don't have any so uh every little bit helps and i appreciate that so there you go anyways have yourselves a great day and uh, we'll catch you in the next video